What's up gang, welcome back to a very special video. Ever since 1982 when I first saw Kevin Flynn get sucked into the Tron video game and hop on that light cycle, I have dreamed of owning an electric motorbike. This is Blue Leader to Blue Bikes. Run these guys into your jet. Well, the team at Fonz in Sydney have made that dream come true. There's so much to talk about, so let's jump into the video. If you're new here, my name is Scott Davies. I love to review PEVs, personal electric vehicles. This definitely fits into that genre. This is a road legal motorbike. You do need to have a license to ride this one. It will do 100 kilometers per hour. And depending on what model you get, you'll get more and more range. So this is the NKDS model. This is the second one up from their base. This has a eight kilowatt mid-mounted motor. It's belt driven. It's 183 centimeters long. And the seat height is, I'll put the number right there because I forgot it has a really nice, simple, standard motorcycle handlebar setup. You've got your indicators, your high low beam, your park lights, your kill switch. This has a reverse switch, so you can hit that reverse button and gently accelerate if you need to go up an incline or get out of a tight spot. It comes available with loads of different customizations, everything from frame color to carbon fiber side panels. You can even put on surf racks so you can go to the beach and carry your surfboard on the NKD. Now, really quickly, talking about the performance of this bike, it does zero to 60 kilometers per hour in a matter of seconds. I'm talking 2.1, 2.5 seconds. The torque on this bike is very, very insane and very, very instantaneous. It has three different speed modes, speed mode one, two, and three. Uh, the top speed and the torque is slightly affected by each one. Speed mode one, I found tops out around the 52 kilometer mark. Speed mode two tops out between 70 and 72 kilometers. And speed mode three takes you all the way up to its max speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Now, depending on what model you go for, you'll get more range. This is the S and it has a 100 kilometer range battery in it. You start to experience a little bit of sag once you get down to that 15 to 20%, but still plenty enough power to get up and go to ride around the city. Now, something I wanna show you is the size of the bike because when I first saw this online in pictures and videos, I thought, well, that's quite a small frame and it would be no good for me because I'm six foot. Well, when I saw it in person, I was really surprised. As you can see, it really is a full frame motorcycle. My knee is slightly bent and my foot is flat on the ground, but I'm not hunched up. My knees aren't that weird like this. And when I ride it, my knees are almost perfectly at 90 degrees, which is actually what you want to be for an upright commuting motorbike. Now the NKD comes with multiple charge options. For the A model, it is a portable charger. It's a four amp charger, I believe, but you can upgrade to a 10 amp. And the higher you go up the models, you get more and more options. The top range models also have the wall to bike option. So if you're out in those shopping malls and they have those car charging stations, you can plug your bike in there and charge it up on the go. But you can also plug it into your charging station at home. So how safe is the NKD? Well, they've put hydraulic front and rear brakes on it. And this thing stops on a dime. There is very, very little movement in the brake lever. And when you need to stop, it stops you very, very quickly. You can really feel the quality in the brakes and you just can rely on them that they're going to stop you really, really well. So who is the NKD for? Well, it's gonna suit almost anybody. I would say anyone up to six foot four. Anyone above that, it may be a little bit small, but it's not gonna matter on your ride experience. You could be a Harley, a Ducati, or just a Honda posty bike rider. You will love riding this. The power and the excitement that it gives is just, the smile factor is 10 out of 10. That's a new scale I'm bringing to the channel, the smile factor. The small factor on the NKD is 10 out of 10 guaranteed. Now let's talk about the performance of the NKDS. And this is what really surprised me the most is how well it actually performs for an electric bike. I have tried a, one other electric motorbike and I was severely disappointed. Uh, it, lack of power, terrible handling, um, just very uh, linear, just very square uh, acceleration curve. 
This is the opposite of every single thing I didn't like about the other electric motorbike. This is it's extremely torquey, it's well balanced, it turns like a performance bike. Uh, it's, it's just as home on, the, on a freeway, on an 80 or 100 kilometer per hour freeway as it is doing 10 kilometers in traffic through the city. It's really, really nimble, but on the open road, it feels solid with no speed wobbles, uh, no train tracking, like when you're riding along and it doesn't feel like it's sort of pulling you to the left or the right. It just performs really, really well in every single environment I've tested it. Now let's talk about customization because I'm sure you agree the NKD just wants to be customized. It looks so cool and you want to make it individual so it's your own bike. Well, the guys at NKD there in Sydney, at Fon, sorry, in Sydney, they offer so many different customizations for the NKD and for all of their bikes, I believe. But this one in particular, this one is hand built. Well, a lot of it is built in Sydney. The frames are done there in Brookvale painted and powder coated and so on but they offer lots of little upgraded bits like side saddles surfboard racks carbon fiber panels different handlebars you name it they can probably do it if it's possible i'm sure there's a price and i'm sure it can be put on the nkd for you so if you are interested make sure you do reach out to them and and check out the link in this video it's not an affiliate link i'm just making this because i love the bike all right gang so let's end the video there thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this first look at the NKD from Fonz in Sydney, Australia. As always, if you've got any comments or questions, put them down below and I'll try my best to answer every single one. If you wanna go on and design your own NKD, the link is in the description. You can go in and see how much it would cost to make your dream electric motorbike. This NKD S with the orange frame is almost perfect for me. Uh, if I was to order one, and I think I'm going to, I would probably go for this color combo. What color would you go for? Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear what sort of combo you'd go for, like an electric blue or a green. The sky's the limit with these guys because they make the frames themselves. They can powder coat and paint them to exactly what you want. And as always, if you've enjoyed this content, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. We've got lots more new videos coming very soon around PEVs, skateboards, EUCs, and so on. But until then, guys, don't forget, skate safe, ride safe, wear a helmet, and we'll see you on the next video. So long, and it is electric. Scotty. Who's Scotty?